are you doing in my limo? I ordered this car. <laughs> Hello? No, I, I own this limousine. So if you don't mind... <sighs> I'm sure that we could work something out to our mutual satisfaction, don't you? My wife's going to be here any minute. And I don't want to have to explain you to her. So just go wait for your ride somewhere else, please. You know, I am supposed to be at a wedding right now. But all of that uh, love and commitment stuff, I mean, I'm surprised I can keep my lunch down, really. <laughs> the last thing that I need is some fool who doesn't know how to have fun. I mean, I like to push the envelope way too much to play by the rules. So what do you say? Do you want to break the rules with me for a little while? Take us somewhere secluded. Sorry. One second. <laughs> Ceremony's about to start. You still at the hospital? No, no. I'm on my way to Nora's right now. You sound a little strange. Talk to Miller. Find something wrong? No, she just, um... She had to take a, a little... Uh, an extra vial of blood. No big deal. Oh, you want me to come get you? <laughs> no, I don't. Um, I don't. I'm just, um... Listen, I'm stuck in a bit of traffic, so, um... I... I might be a while. Come so far from where we started. Then you, you look at me and I know to believe. be naive love is ours if we're tender so what did i miss everything uh i'll give you a play-by-play -play later how you feeling great great after all those tests at the hospital oh that um i'm just glad that that's over right okay um i told your mom what was going on what? Oh, God, I don't want to deal with her right now. Can we just go? Uh, she's worried, Jess. I think you might want to talk to her, let her know you're all right. No, I can't talk to my mother right now, okay, Antonio? <sighs> Listen, sorry, I just have to eat earlier. I must be a bit tired or something. You said you were great. Jesse, honey, how are you? I'm great, I'm great. I just went for a few tests, you know, nothing major at all. That's why I didn't tell you about it. The last thing I wanted to do was upset you. Are you okay? Fine. I guess, <laughs> guess I'm just a little bit hungry. I'll get all. you something to eat. No, I'm fine. I can get it myself. <gasps> Here you go. It's been a long day for you. That's the way it goes sometimes. Right. <clears throat> you okay? I'm fine. I just should have come right home and not gone to Nora's wedding. I'm gonna rub your shoulders. No. I, like you said, it's been a long day. I'm just going to go upstairs and I'm going to go to bed. Jessica, Antonio, look what you left at the wedding. I couldn't believe you forgot it. Yeah, right. I, I'm going to go to bed. Jesse, don't you want to take this with you? No, actually, I don't want to take it with me. Thanks. Here, Jessica, what on earth is the matter with you? I'm sorry, Mom. Really, I don't know what just came.
came over me to make me jump at you like that. I must be really exhausted. I think it's more than that. What? I think catching that bouquet may have put a little pressure on her. Listen, honey, I don't ever want you to feel pushed into anything. Especially when it comes to our relationship. Thanks. Really, I don't know what I have done to deserve you. Why don't I, uh... Why don't I throw these away if they're no, bothering you? No, please. I'm gonna take them upstairs and I'm gonna put them in some water. Jess, you caught the bouquet. That's awesome. Maybe that'll actually be a wedding that I'm invited to. I don't know there's some hot guys there. No, no, I have They're frog been... guys. What's wrong? What's wrong, my perfect little princess? What's wrong? Oh, oh. And there's Antonio. You know, I always loved you, Jessica. I love you so much. I want to suck the life right out of you. Oh, I can't take it anymore. I can't be around them anymore. Oh, I cannot keep this sweet Jessica act up anymore. I swear. I gotta get out of here. Man, that's a long way down. <laughs> <laughs>